Hello. So many times people tell me, you know, my house is different. Well, an attic fan really worked for me. And a lot of times what they're talking about is a Cape Cod style home or a bungalow style home where there's ceilings upstairs that are sloped. And there's actually several different uh, attic spaces behind the wall, above the ceiling. I'm just going to draw it out so you get a picture of what I'm talking about. On a Cape Cod style home, there's usually a rather steep roof. And there may be a dormer coming out the back like this with a wall. There could be some dormers in front like this with a wall. And um, inside, of course, there's a floor. And there's knee walls here. Then the ceiling slopes here. There's a level spot overhead. Ceiling sloped here and then a knee wall there. So really, there's a number of different attic spaces that get hot. You know, this space here could get up to 150 degrees. This one overhead gets hot and you want to be able to ventilate all these areas and it can make a huge difference in these rooms right here where people have to live because all these surfaces all the way around the top of this Cape Cod rooms upstairs or whether it's a bungalow or Cape Cod it's the same thing there's sloped ceilings and it's real important that before you finish your attic if you're thinking about doing a room in an attic space that you really consider getting an attic fan because it'll make those rooms actually livable and so, and here's the big key, here's the trick to the whole thing, is you have to insulate the wall here, insulate the ceiling here, and the, uh, the ceiling there. But you have to leave enough space here for air to get through. Just an inch is all you need, two inches is better. But then air can travel um, from vents down here above the insulation and get to an attic fan up here and be vented out. So many times what I find in these homes is, you know, a remodeler has come in and just real quick they just did something to finish the rooms. And what they do sometimes is they'll insulate the roof like this. And it just blocks all the airflow here. And there's really, and then, and then in the wintertime these spaces are essentially heated spaces. So you're heating the space here that you don't really use. Nobody ever goes in there. Nobody goes up there. In a situation like this, you're heating less space. You're heating the, the, just the rooms where people live. And you're allowing air to travel above there. So on the super hot days, you get the sun out here shining, beating on your roof. You'd be able to actually, you know, get get some cooling up there. Whether it's a window air conditioner or whether you have central air, you'll be able to cool these rooms much better if you get a little bit of airflow coming through here.